Hello, my name is Nancy Creighton and this is a very quick video to give you the who, what, where, when and why of Creighton's Doggy Daycare and also to let you know how you enrol your dog to become a member of Creighton's. So first up, the who. Creedence Doggy Daycare was established in 2010 and is now the longest running doggy daycare in all of Ireland. I started Creedence Doggy Daycare um, initially all on my lonesome, but at this stage we have a great team of staff here to look after your dogs. So I am a certified dog behaviourist. I have a degree in zoology and a master's degree in animal behaviour, focusing on clinical dog behaviour. So from the very start, my ethos is to ensure that all staff are highly trained so that we can then provide you, the client, with the very best advice and provide you dog with the very best of care. So now the what. So what is it that we get up to behind closed doors all day every day besides playing with puppies? Um, so we offer doggy daycare. So doggy daycare is an indoor and outdoor environment where dogs come during the day to interact with other dogs, to socialize, to learn from one another, to have fun, to get lots of exercise and to be stimulated throughout the day so they're not left at home. So the doggy daycare is, um, is something that we're very proud of because we have very high standards. So we ensure that the environment is safe and secure and there's nothing that's going to injure the animals or hurt the animals or upset the animals and also that it's secure so they ain't getting out and um, which is obviously highly important that your dog when they're with us is really safe really secure really well looked after and having a ball we also offer a five-star pet hotel which is a home away from home for dogs who aren't comfortable with being in the strange environment of being inside a concrete kennel or or an outdoor kennel so what we offer at our pet hotel is the dogs have human beds they have their bedside lockers with their night lamp and they've got their toys and their treats and so on at night time we also have two-way cameras so you can check in on your dog from your phone we'll show you how to download the app give you your private password and then you can check in on your dog wish them good night and listen to them if they're snorers or or, or if they're making any noise at night, you'll be able to hear. Um, at the pet hotel, we ensure that the dogs get extra attention. So during the day, they'll come out and play with the other dogs inside in the doggy daycare. But the staff know that so-and-so, Fluffy's here in hotel, um, or Joey's here in the hotel. So they get extra one-on-one -on -one attention, extra cuddles, and um, make sure that they're not missing um, their family. We will check in with you regularly, so you'll get a daily update with photos and videos, how your dog is getting on, if they've eaten, if they haven't eaten, if we have any concerns, or just a quick update to let you know that they're having a great time and we also have a grooming spa so in our grooming spa we offer the standard grooming so we do the full makeovers where dogs will get a haircut a bath nail clipping ear cleaning and so on we do quick wash and dries we do de-shedding specials for heavy shedders we do dry cuts for dogs who hate baths and just need a haircut and then we do the more exclusive services so we do offer doggy facials and we do offer hot oil massages um, and extra treatments just to ensure that the dog's coat is in great nick and that the dog gets a bit of a pampering when it comes to the spa. We do training, so we have group training classes. So if you're looking to get your dog um, up to speed with their obedience, we do a group four week training class where we first of all have an owner's education talk and then we do the basics such as sit and stay and walking nicely on the lead, coming back when you're called, leaving items, so not stealing items or not chasing sheep. And we also do no jumping training in that class. We also offer puppy sessions where we'll do private training with puppies or group sessions with puppies and we do agility classes as well. So if you're looking for a bit of fun with your dog, the agility is a great way to bond with your dog, a bit of exercise for your dog and a bit of mental stimulation too. We also offer one-to-one -one private behavior counseling. So if your dog has any specific behavior problems, fear-based problems, uh, dealing with aggression, obsessive behaviors, abnormal behaviors, anything that you're a little bit worried about your dog, you come see me and I offer the behavior consultation. So I was the very first certified dog behavior consultant in Ireland. There's now two of us. So Maureen Byrne up in, up in Leash is also a certified dog behavior consultant. And it's really important that if you do have a problem behavior with your dog, that we address it because it's treatable. If your dog is suffering, we want to help them. And we want you and your dog to have the most enjoyable relationship which is what you both want to so now the where so Creedence Doggy Daycare is located just off the south link so we're near to the Kinsale Road roundabout which usually is very convenient for most people when they're traveling to and from work we are actually located on Vickers Road which is just about two minutes off the south link and we're directly next door to Glabby Veterinary Hospital so we're in an easy to access location the vets next door and and we should hopefully be on most people's commute 
So the when, Creedence Doggy Daycare is open from 7 a.m. to 6.45 p.m. Phone lines are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And of course, with the hotel, we are also open weekends 24-7 with the hotel. Uh, we offer training classes in the evenings and weekends. So we're pretty busy uh, pretty much all the time. And now for the why. So why should you become a customer of Creedence Doggy Daycare? Um, the why really depends on you. So whether you need somewhere for your dog to get exercise during the day, whether you need someone's professional advice on any behavior problems you're having, whether your dog is a little bit scruffy and needs a makeover, or whether you've got a wedding coming up and you don't want your dog staying in, in, a, in a boarding kennel environment, then we pretty much have everything you need. So our, um, our whole goal is to provide all the services and the products that you would need as a pet dog owner, simply because we are pet dog owners and we want these services and we want these products. So we put them on because we know that other dog lovers um, think similar to us and we basically uh, want to offer you anything that you need. So if there's a service that you need for your dog that we don't currently offer, let us know and we'll see what we can do about it. But basically the why coming to Credence is up to you. Why do you need us? Because we're here for you. And now for the how. So this is going to be a quick explanation of how you enroll your dog at Credence. So when you are enrolling your dog to become a member of the doggy daycare, we do a three day introduction. So this introduction is to ensure that your dog is slowly introduced to the environment. Make sure that we don't overwhelm your dog or they don't become a little bit unsure about what's going on. We do a three day introduction so that they can slowly at their own pace, become familiar with the environment and then make their new friends and learn how to play with all the other dogs. So on the very first morning of your three day introduction, we will have a quick sit down with you and your dog's buddy. So each dog will be appointed a buddy and that buddy then is responsible for um, assisting your dog through their assessment, keeping an extra close eye on them and then keeping you informed about how they're getting on. So the quick Q&A will just go over any likes or dislikes your dog has, any fears they may have, any special needs or anything that we could benefit from knowing to ensure that we do the best for your dog. So at the end of the quick um, consultation, which will only take five to 10 minutes, you can head off to work and it's time for your dog to get started. If you do want to see the inside of the doggy daycare, we can't facilitate that on the morning of the introduction. We can only do that um, in the evenings when the dogs, when the daycare is empty, because as you'll see, we keep the doors locked. We don't want strangers coming into the dogs that can upset them or frighten them or, or overexcite them as well. We need to keep them relatively calm. So if you want to view the daycare, let us know in advance and we can arrange that. To start off during the assessment, your dog will head into the little holding area and this is where they can view the daycare environment without the added pressure of having lots of dogs come up to them or, you know, maybe they, they don't like a certain dog or maybe they get too overly excited around dogs. This shows them that it's okay that they're safe, that it's okay to stay calm and that there's not too much excitement. It's a safe, calm environment for the dog to slowly become familiar with what the hell is going on here. So as they watch the other dogs initially, once we feel that they're calm and that they're not overwhelmed and that they don't need any special needs or that they're, that they're ready to progress, we'll then introduce them to their first buddy. So we start off just letting them watch the other dogs, letting them become comfortable. We bond with them, we interact with them, we get to know them a little bit more. And then once we're ready and once we think that they're ready, their first little buddy will come into them. We'll pick a suitable dog, usually a similar sized dog, who we know is very friendly and welcoming to other dogs. And then we'll introduce them slowly but surely and see how they get on. So once your dog um, is settled, we will bring in their buddy and see how things go. Um, so usually what happens here is because we pick a good pair, um, the, the buddy who's familiar with the doggy daycare will then get your dog uh, more comfortable because again, dogs are social animals. They'll pick up on one another. And if the other dog is safe and happy and content, then usually that will filter into your dog too. So usually this part goes very well. If we feel that your dog's not ready to progress, we'll just give them more time. If we feel that they're too overwhelmed, we'll give you a buzz. Um, but everything will go slowly and at your dog's own pace. So if they've met one dog, they made friends, then it's time to introduce a second dog. 
and what's happening here is your dog is becoming we're, we're basically testing your dog's response to interacting with two dogs at the same time with a lot of dogs that can be overwhelming because they're sniffing one dog while another dog is sniffing them and it i suppose there's a lot less control there for your dog so some dogs find this overwhelming if they don't and they're happy and they interact well with the two dogs or potentially three or four then it's time to go in and meet all of their new friends. So I'll take them into the doggy daycare with their buddy, their human buddy, and their dog buddies will have headed in just before them so that they'll have some familiar faces once they get in. And then they'll get to pop around, say hello, interact with the other members of staff, and basically make new friends. So once they're in and interacting with the other dogs, this is where we can really get um, into the nitty gritty of getting to know your dog, helping them familiarize themselves in the daycare environment. And we'll also do some very basic training. So we we teach the, your dog to respond to or cues. So to come when they're called, to become comfortable with people taking their collars if we need to pop a lead on them or bring them to a different area. So what we do is we take the collar and give them a treat. We ask them to sit and give them a treat and so on. And we make sure that the dog learns that the humans are here to look after them, the dogs are here to be their playmates and basically they become comfortable and happy in the environment so that then they can become full members of the doggy daycare for the next two days they just get to interact and play and basically learn to be in this environment without getting too excited or without worrying or without being too overwhelmed they can run around they can play but they don't need to um, panic or become hyperactive when they come in here so the three-day assessment allows them to um, think that doggy daycare is great fun but it's no big deal so they don't need to um, become too hyper basically tired so while your doggy's here, they'll get some extra little bonding with the staff, bonding with their little buddies, and we'll just really help them to keep their brains stimulated as well as exercising themselves physically. We want them mentally tired at the end of the day too. So we want them to lots of fun, lots of entertainment, and lots to think about so that when they go home, they're nice and tired and can sleep on the couch. So at the end of the day, when you come to collect your dog, we'll give you a full debrief. Um, don't worry, they'll still be excited to see their mummies and daddies. So some people worry that they were too excited to come into daycare, but they're also super excited going home. Um, so we'll fill you in with how things went. If there's anything we're a little bit concerned about or anything that we want to try extra the next day and so on, we'll fill you in with that too. Um, and at the end of the day, the goal here is to help your dog have a great time. But if they don't like it, that's okay too. So we, we will tell you if we think that they, that they mightn't like coming to doggy daycare. But luckily, most of them love it. They all pass their assessments and they all then become members of Credence to join the fun. So that's all that you need to know about enrolling your dog at Credence Doggy Daycare. And a couple of... Uh rules that we have so to enroll your dog if they are under six months they don't need to be neutered that's fine if they are over six months they do need to be neutered and to continue attending now case by case basis so if there's any specific reasons for your dog not being neutered just get in touch directly with us also your dog needs to be fully vaccinated so there are normal annual booster shots as well as the kennel cough vaccination and again if there's any specific reason why you can't vaccinate your dogs let us know and again we can judge you case by case um, you need to let us know in advance of the booking and also your dog must enjoy interacting with other dogs so if you do have a nervous dog that is afraid of other dogs or behaves aggressively towards other dogs we can um, help you there with training and behavior modification but your dog probably wouldn't be suitable for doggy daycare so just get in touch with us again directly case by case basis so if there's anything we can do to help your dog we will try and help um, the other thing as I mentioned in the video is that we do allow people to come and visit the daycare center and get to know the place and let their dog have a sniff about but we do it when it's closed because we have some dogs that join the doggy daycare for safety reasons reasons because the owners don't want them at home where it's not secure so they don't want strangers coming into their dogs we've other dogs that are nervous as strangers we don't want them getting upset we've other dogs that become really hyperactive and a bit um, obsessive when they meet new people so we don't want them getting too out of control so to keep the environment safe and calm we don't allow strangers well strangers to the dogs in when the daycare environment is actually is active so um, just let us know if you do want to view the environment before and we can make you a booking to enroll your dog, all you need to do now is give us a quick buzz and we'll book you in. We can book the three-day assessment. Um, we do take prepayment, so let us know um, if you're ready to go ahead and book. Um, we can book over the phone with your card or we can send you um, an online booking where you can book online. Um, and if you have any questions at all, anything we've left out in this video, just get in touch. We're here to help. Give us a buzz, pop us an email, and we'll let you know um, what we can do to help you. So looking forward to meeting you and looking forward to meeting your dog.